three and the six. As you'll see, watch the three pin right into the four and seven. So big second ball or big ball on a second box too as he goes over and fires the strike on lane 31, Brooklyn side. Kind of just threw that one, turned away like he knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Gary Carrington for his third and fourth frames. Another nine drop. Most of them seem to be coming on lane 32. Another spare. Spare all number nine. Just all over the five pin. with strikes up in the fourth. Gary Carrington with the lead, and we're back with more on Stars and Strikes in a minute. Mark Gallant working on a strike. Each bowler working on a strike. Left over in the fourth. Working on a strike, and I dare say he in a situation where he really needs two of them. At least marks. Eight on the strike. 45 through four. And the 10 box. in the sixth. Spares aren't going to do it now, though, as you said, Dan. Yeah, Gary Carrington's spare strike, working on that strike now, and he can start to close the door. Leading by 33. Four horsemen right. One, three, six, and ten. box for Gary. He's in command here. 40 pin lead. Make it a 38 pin lead. Head pin again. Got a very nice mix that time on a light hit. And got a good break with a seven pin going down. Leaves himself just a three and a ten. Uh, if that would turn too much or not to carry the 10 pin. Let's see. Might have to have the ball take it. Well, he missed the three entirely. There's an open box opposite a spear by Mark Gallant. He's going to make one more run at Gary. It's got to be now. 10 in the sixth. 38 minus this ball. And you have to know what he's thinking. <laughs> he's got to be thinking strike. enough for one, but the seven and ten left. Well, it's got a couple pieces of wood, actually three pieces. Not quite. Sent two pieces of wood over there, but not far enough to get the ten pin. He's definitely going to need three more marks. Now, whether those marks have to be consecutive strikes or not remains to be seen what Gary Carrington does, but he can't afford another open.
Mark's just been struggling to find the range all day. Watch, he'll get a break now. <laughs> Almost. and 10. And that is spare number 10 for Gary Carrington to go along with one strike. Plays it on the left side of the head pin, just the domino effect all the way into the three and eventually the 10. Some spare in the seventh and Gary was a little worried about that ball. It went high on the head pin, but it turned out to be a nine drop. And seven pin, piece of wood looking right at him. A couple pieces, as a matter of fact. Still get by the wood and get this ten, uh, seven pin clean. That's oh, nice. very nicely done. Pretty sharp. Wow. Well, Gary has just been very much on target all during the program. Has <laughs> made up for the fact that the strike ball hasn't necessarily been working by making some terrific spares. And even that one, which was a single pin, there was a very fine line in between the wood and the channel, and Gary was right there. Oh, uh, nice shot by Mark Delance. Splitting the two and the four. Watch the two pin jump into the ten. He can't get enough to win now, but he can certainly get enough to make the score a little bit more respectable. There's another spare. 119 plus a ball. And the five fill. 124 for Mark Gallant and a 341. Gary Carrington already at 349. Plus this fill, which is an eight. Let's see if Gary can throw this one over. Not quite. Ten box. Gary Carrington will be coming back next week to face Chuck Langlois, our number three seed out of Concord, New, Ham Concord, New Hampshire. Oh, Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news for Gary is he doesn't have to make this shot. <laughs> but I wouldn't bet against him the way he's been throwing today. Ooh. The four and the nine. See if he gives it another try here. Last ball of the day. Nope, just takes the one. 127. And a three game total, 376. Gary Carrington with the win here in week one over Mark Gallant. We'll be back to talk with the bowlers and have our bonus ball contest in a minute. Don't go away. Welcome back to Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Uh, joining me up here on the platform, Mark Gallant. Uh, Mark, I know it was not the uh, the finish you wanted or the start you wanted, for that matter, but uh, just just a little bit off, it seemed. Uh, yeah, never could really find the right line. Chasing the object in all day. Just never uh, never could get in the groove. Well, we do have a check for you. Fifth place, $100. And uh, we were talking about the fact that it's been nine years since you've been here. Don't uh, don't make it nine years until you come not. back, all right? <laughs> Thanks very much, Mark. Mark Gallant. All right, Gary Carrington now, our winner. We'll throw our bonus ball on lane 31. We've got uh, $20 in the jackpot this week, plus a couple of sets of uh, brand new bowling balls, of course, on the line, and we'll see if we can get a match. 
we emptied out our uh, TV and Gary throws the spread eagle. Well, he was on the head pin all day, so. Uh, Four is usually on the bottom, so. I <laughs> dug, way down. dug way down to the bottom, did you? Uh, you doubled it, though. You picked out an eight from Helen Mailman, I believe it is, from Gardner, Mass. Thanks very much, Helen, for the postcard. We'll be sending you a gift from uh, TB50 and the NHCBA. Congratulations, sir. You were on the head pin there on the bonus ball, too, but uh, nothing like that happened during the match. No, uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a few breaks. Uh, hit it full a few times. A couple of spears didn't go. Uh, I was fortunate Mark uh, had, had troubles today, so... I'll take it. But it had to be one of those days when you were feeling pretty confident about the second ball, even though the uh, the first ball wasn't getting yeah. the strikes necessarily. Right, the first ball, uh, yeah, it was knocking a few pins down, but the second ball was real good, so I'll take spares any day. Chuck Langlois is next week. Yeah, he's a good bowler. He's, uh, I can't take him lightly, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll see you then, Gary. Thanks a lot. Okay. Congratulations. All right, Gary Carrington with win number one in the books, a 376, and let's take a look at the ladder and see what he's got facing ahead of him. Of course, uh, Anybody that comes out of this first show has to win four in a row, Dan, to get all the way up into the Tournament of Champions, and uh, Gary hit it right on the head. It's Chuck Langlois next week. Uh, not an easy match by any means. No, and you can't look uh, past Chuck either because the other two fellows waiting in the wings are going to be just <laughs> as tough. <laughs> we'll be back next Sunday, of course, at 12 noon for Gary's match against Chuck Langlois. Don't forget, Saturday at noon to start our weekend. It'll be week two on Stars and Strikes doubles. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole TV50 crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good week, everybody. Thank you.